A shout out to Jeff, man. Thank you so much for sending in this touring badge. That was so cool. Um, we didn't actually have one. Like, I don't remember pulling one off the car. So fantastic you were able to send us one. It's an original one it's, uh, and it's in really good condition. So shout out to you, my man. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate that. And everybody that's uh, watching and following along and commenting and messaging, really appreciate the shout outs, you know, and, the, and reaching out as well. There's been a lot of people that have helped us in the journey, you know, just dropping tidbits of information. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Welcome back modifiers to another episode of the BMW 2002 Touring Restoration Project. We're going to be looking at the subframe again. If you saw in the last video or one of the previous videos, you would have seen that I painted the subframe, the training arms and stuff. And uh, the Nomad 01, thanks mate, you pointed out that I didn't reinforce them or question why I didn't. And you know, it made me think we were going to reinforce this at some point and basically I wanted to get everything painted so we can mock it up in the car to make the exhaust and the fuel lines and stuff. But got me to thinking and it also got me to looking as well. So I jumped online and it turns out the trading arms uh, can fall to pieces if you're pushing the car, they just completely tear up. So probably gonna seam weld those. As far as the subframe goes, we were already talking about putting a plate on the bottom here to strengthen this up. And you can actually buy a pre-made plate that I guess fits and you just weld it on. However, that's in the States, we're not in the States. So uh, I'm not gonna ship one piece of metal all the way over. So we're gonna cut a piece out of this three mil plate that I've got sitting here. So there's going to be a plate that's going to be made for here and also on this side on this motor mount here uh, these tend to fall apart i'm going to reinforce that with a another inner plate there first thing we need to do is get some cardboard and draw up what we need and then i'm going to cut it out on this plate that's still here Right, we have our new plates. So this is the uh, engine mount plate that I've just quickly made up. And that's gonna go in this hole here. So I'll grind up where I'm gonna weld, pop this in. And it just sits in like that. And I'll just weld that in there like that. And that will give that a lot of strength. So a lot of strength for this piece. And this is the the lower plate, so this one sits on here, like that. Now, there is a bit of, there's a bit of shape in it, so I'm gonna have to uh, just clamp it on some places and tap her up, maybe give it a bit of a tap. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room.
all welded in. We've got the bottom plate all fully welded and also the motor mounts now welded in. Let's go take a closer look. Thumbs up for the uh, special effects there. That was, um, that took me hours to do that. <laughs> no, it's yeah, avatar quality right there. If you wanna see more from us and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you'll get a notification when the next video comes out. We're getting pretty damn close to doing the uh, rest of the M10 engine. We're not far off that. As Soon as the oil pump chain turns up, we're gonna pop that together and then we can start mocking this thing up for the exhaust and things like that. It's really moving along. We're like getting places, it feels good. It's nice to actually see some progress, you know? Uh, even the primer on the car just makes it look so much better. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.